Hi there, today we're going to work on a little more complicated item here where we're going to do a data merge in InDesign. We're going to use a Excel list of names and also we're going to use um, some photographs that Excel is going to reference to do a data merge within InDesign with text and photographs as you can see right here. So this is going to be a little flyer we'll say about customer testimonials and these are the names and the titles and the comments from these folks. So these two parts that we have to have is we have to have a, a design that we want to put together and merge into and we also want to have an Excel spreadsheet. And so what you do is you start with an Excel spreadsheet and I have a header row here that has first name, last initial, title, testimonial, and picture. Now that seems pretty straightforward and it is, but let me click on the header of picture and I'm going to show you over here that it has an apostrophe at symbol pictures. Now this is key because you can't just put an at symbol in a cell in Excel or it thinks it's going to be part of a formula. So this apostrophe allows that to be in there and this is going to tell it to reference a, a path that I give it down below here. And here's the path where this folder is at. It's on my hard drive it's in a root level, it's in a folder called customer photos and in here I have the names of those photos I want to link to or merge. If you're on Windows you replace the colons with backslashes. So this is the path where to go find those images in that folder. So 01 John Q dot TIF is in customer photos which is on the root level of the Mac hard drive. So this has to be exactly right. Now I'm going to switch back to InDesign just for a second here and I'm going to get out of presentation mode so you can see the InDesign interface and I'm going to switch back to the Excel document. Now here I want you to see I'm going to open up my hard drive and I want you to see that the folder called customer photos is on the root level of my hard drive. In fact if I come up and you can show you the name of my hard drive then on that root level is customer photos and within there are these images. So if I click on one of these you can see the path here at the bottom of the screen on the Mac and if you go into Windows you can do the same thing. You'll click on an image and get properties and it will show you the path that you have to write down and include in Excel we have to use the exact names, I mean down to the capital letters, case sensitive, all of this. So what I did is I would click on these photos, I would highlight the entire name, I would copy it, and I would actually come back to Excel here and paste in that exact copy. That way there's no mistakes. There's no mistakes. I'm copying it directly from the name of the photo on the hard drive to Excel in this cell. So I have my Excel worksheet situated here where I have I have my Excel worksheet here with this header row. First name, last initial, title, their testimony, and this is where testimonial, and this is where I put in the information that they've extolled about this company and over here under pictures is the path to go find those. After you get this built you can go under file to save as pick your format as tab delimited text tab delimited text and this is how you want to export out this file. 
I'm going to save it to my desktop so I can find it easily. And I already have one there, so I'll just replace it. And I'm just going to click continue past these little warnings in Excel. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Excel here and I'm going to hide Excel. Now I'm back here in InDesign. And what I'm going to do here, this is the finished merge. Now let's go back. I'm going to close the, I'm going to close this one. Not going to save any changes. I'm going to come back to my InDesign document here. Now, the first thing I want you to know is this InDesign document has to be one page. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what's on the master. On the master, I have a background graphic of the city of St. Paul I got from Bing Maps. Um, I have my easel logo. I have a little customer testimonial tag here. And this is on the master. Now you got to have this on the master because it won't be able to do a merge when you have all these items on the physical page itself because it wants to replicate like the easel logo, the, uh, the background uh, aerial view map and all that. You have to put that information on the master. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my document page and in here in the layers panel I have three layers actually I have a layer holding the map I have a layer holding any other graphics and I also have a layer for the items on the actual document page called text now I'm going to zoom in on those two items so you can see them a little bit better Now what these have in them, I've drawn two objects. This object here is a frame to hold a actual picture. This is a text frame that I have inside of here holding the text I'm going to merge. It's going to hold the text I'm going to merge. So here's what we do. First of all, I need to bring up my actual data merge panel right here let me minimize layers here so you're not confused my data merge panel now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this so I can start from scratch to show you how this is going to work 